So it seems like they're gonna make a new Pokemon game. Pokemon X and Y. Generation 6. Uh, set in Europe, I guess. Everything looks so charming and beautiful. But... I don't think it's gonna be good. I don't wanna be a downer, but... I didn't like Pokemon Black or White either. The only thing they had going for them was... The fact that TMs have unlimited use. That's it. That is about it. All the 3D, all the moving, moving sprites, that's just gimmicky. It's, it's nothing to do with the game. I just can't see how they're gonna make a hundred more pieces of shit. Pokemon, what the hell are they gonna do? They made ice cream last time, they made rubbish. They, they made chandeliers, what the fuck are, else are you gonna create? I mean, kudos for trying, but come on now. It's, if they just keep on mindlessly making Pokemon for money, it's it's not gonna go well. I mean, people are still gonna buy it, but it's not a good game. Look at this Digimon, Season 6. Fucking China shit right here, it's horrible. But now, uh, let's look at let's look at the three starters. First, we have Chespin. He looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. Um, he kind of reminds me of a Cascoon or a Silcoon, so he might might evolve into like a a Grass Steel type. But I don't know. I'm just I'm just guessing here. Next we have Fennekin, uh, a Firefox. Ha! <laughs> kind of reminds me of Vulpix and Ninetales. But in the trailer, you'll see you'll see him use like a Psy Psy Beam Psy Wave, I think. So he's gonna be the first ever. Fire Psychic Pokemon, I feel, and Thro Froakie, last one, uh, Water Frog, Water, blah blah blah, Water Frog. He doesn't look interesting, he just looks weird. I don't even know what kind of story they're gonna fit into this. I mean, they've done everything like uh, time, space, uh, stealing Pokemon, all that stuff. So this time it'll be like, um, a kid's trying to get through his GCSEs. But then, uh, Team Rocket, or, uh, Team Diamond, or Team, Team, I don't know, Team Hand Sanitizer is stealing all the fucking graph paper, and he can't graduate to his GCSEs, so you gotta fight and catch all this X and Y Pokemon. All I wanna know is, where is my Pokemon Snap 2? Where is it? Where is it? I'd even be happy with a Ruby remake, or Sapphire. I, I've even come up with the names for it. Radiant Ruby and Shimmering Sapphire. See Nintendo, you, you don't have to pay me for that. That's a good idea right there. What made Hearts Go Gold and Soul Silver so special to me was that you could walk with your Pokemon behind you. I don't know, but that was like a small detail that immersed me into the game. And it was just cool to have like a Wailord walking behind you, or whatever your favorite Pokemon is. That was just cool, and that's what set Yellow apart from the Red, Blue, and Green. They also had the Pokewalker. Not only could you get exclusive Pokemon from that, but I guess it somewhat ex uh, forced you to walk and be healthy. Um, I know loads of kids just probably shook, shook it with their hands, but it's still... The intent was there, the creativity was there. But that's just me, a grumpy, old nostalgia fag. So let me know what you think, and thank you for watching.